Bless me. Woo! Hi, David. Hi, Chill. Good evening, guys. We're going to play... We're going to play Nancy Drew. We're going to play some Nancy Drew. <laughs> I want this thing... Stay up. Stay up on the side, you poop head. I need to be able to see when I get a resub or a tip or something. It's going to go away, isn't it? <sighs> Whatever. I give up. I give up. Do we have any lifelines like phone a Haley? We have, they have uh, where you can call Bess and George, which are Nancy's best friends that help you with puzzles. And, or the Hardy Boys. I can't remember who shows up, or both of them. This is the first puzzle. All right. All right, are we, are we ready to start our adventure with Nancy Drew, Message, and a Haunted Mansion? Y'all have to tell me who you think it is the entire time. A mystery game. You have to solve a mystery chat. All right, you ready? Also, wait, 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 before I go, is the music, does it sound good? I just finished installing all my drawers in my closet. Now I'm tired. Well, get some tea and help us fight back the evil villain of the mansion. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know. All right, new game. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Ooh. Choose your difficulty level to start off. What are we gonna if you're choose? New to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial button to learn how tutorial? to play the game. I've never seen a tutorial before. Hi, Doggo. Dang, can you change my title if you haven't already? Cutting Edge. Oh yes. All right, are we gonna be a junior or a senior? How confident do you feel, guys? How confident? <laughs> this is on you. This is on you, guys. It's elementary. Uh, excuse me. Well, let's see how elementary it is, Nova. Senior? We senior detective? Okay. Oh! What if I just take the light? Hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. Oh. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. Knick the owner of the house, Rose Green, is Rose. a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. Hannah. She and her friend Abby hope Abby. to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Mm. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Accidents? Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at Ooh, work? Sinister. I'm sure I'll find out. <gasps> Love, Nancy. So Bess is definitely in this. Woo! <laughs> the very beginning, I always remember when I played this game, I was like, they're talking too fast! This is Nancy, 57. I think she's supposed to be like 15 or 14 or something. So in this game, it's a point and click game, if you guys didn't know. So if you see something that I miss, you have to let me know. You know, you know there's something if the magnifying glass glows red. Daughters of diligence earn the gold of nine dragons. Uh, who's our note taker here? We need a note taker. Who's our note taker? We have to have a note taker. Is there anything else in here? This is our alarm clock. Definitely not going to do, do that. Cancel. But we have, we can use the alarm. It's a lot of, a lot of dragons. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. I've seen some Nancy Drew streams. They remind me of Mist. Kind of, yeah. Anything over here we could click? No. Oh. Listen, my child, to the story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, 
The king of the sky will shine his rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Ooh! Nancy Drew, don't destroy the hotel room. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. Ooh, let's look around this mansion. Assuming I can. Where the heck did I just come from? Is this is this where I came from? Okay, okay, okay. We're good. My bad. I always get so turned around in this game because you can't really like look <laughs> everywhere of what you want to do. Nothing over here. I guess we just go this way. Oh. Let's go down. Ooh. What is this? What is that? Dumb waiter? Dumb waiter. Why do they call it a dumb waiter? Oh! Hello, Nancy. I see oh. you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. Whoa, who's this lady? Hi, Stafford! I had to pick up Thai food. It's okay. We don't need our note taker just yet. Don't worry. Did y'all make sure to finish your homework before playing games tonight? It's a school night. <laughs> All right. How do you know I don't believe in do ghosts? You know I don't believe in oh, I ghosts. forgot she reads it. <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. What? Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Oh, yikes. Does your intuition tell you? Wait, Does she reads it. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Valdez? Who's Valdez? Do you have any more information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. What? Um, what? Um, <laughs> um, um, she's communing with the spirits chat. I guess we can go downstairs. No, I don't want to go downstairs. Let's keep looking upstairs first. Um, Okay, so there's uh, that lady. I guess we can check over here. It looks like this is under construction. Can we click anything here? I don't think we can. I did, Chucky! Ooh, ice cream. That sounds really nice. Scariest thing is the lip sync from back in the day. <laughs> is she bullying us with ghosts? She is. She, she tells us we are not, uh, we don't believe in ghosts. I didn't even say anything. Maybe I do believe in ghosts. <gasps> I love how when you highlight over them, they just stop. <laughs> All right, so this is Rose. Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could I don't know what the here. other lady's name is. We can is. really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? Oh boy, are we ever! I sure am. This house must have quite a history. What do you know about it? Not very much, but Abby found some interesting old papers that might give us clues about the history of the house. They're in the parlor if you want to take a peek. There's also an old time saloon in the basement, so it's possible the house was once a hotel. Hmm, there was a parlor if you want to take a look, and a saloon in the basement. A saloon. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. A gas leak? I really leak? don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. You would think that it's just because it's an old home. Those jeans are on sale at Target near you right now. Oh boy, are they ever. It's good to see clothing come back in style, you know? <laughs> I 
can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. You have to believe in bad Maybe luck? Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are Charlie. so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Puzzles! Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. It's too I'm complicated, sorry for not Chad. Introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. All right, where's this puzzle? I'm guessing it's this. To rotate pieces, right click mouse button. Okay. All right, chat, you are in charge. Where should these pieces go? Or do you want me to just start putting them down? And I mean, clearly this goes here, <laughs> but for the other ones, what do you think works? Oh my God, this is like so finicky. Wait, oh, oh my God, it has to highlight brown. Um, <laughs> Adam, <sighs> my uncle had a saloon once, but then it got destroyed by a terrible storm. That's horrible. Lower left triangle goes on the lower right. Uh, lower right, right here. Okay. Tell me if I'm wrong. God, this is, it's so hard to place. There we go. Okay. That, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, where should we put this one? We have one, two, three, four, five, five triangles and then one square. So how do you even put this on? Is this, why is it so finicky? Where it goes in the trash? <laughs> here, I'm gonna put this here. That looks horrible. Is there a bigger one? What in the world? But it's. <laughs> Wooden puzzles exist like this in real life. They do. Put a triangle in that corner. <laughs> you have to be a little bit more specific. It. There you go. I mean... It looks good. There we go. Okay. And then all of these should fit. I remember doing this puzzle with my friend and it took hours. And I can't remember why. Maybe because we're stupid. Those gaps. It's perfect. Don't worry about it. Like, why is it so that this one doesn't have any gaps? I don't think I beat it. Usually they say... No! Oh my god. Okay, well, that... <laughs> okay, it... it <laughs> it'll let you know if you do it right. Okay, so I did that wrong. Where, where should we put this instead now, chat? Maybe here instead? Maybe it just didn't fit there. But then it doesn't glow here. We can also rotate it. Maybe I, no, that doesn't make any sense. I still find the puzzles hard even as an adult. <laughs> um, you think this square goes on the top instead of the bottom? Uh, the top instead of the bottom? What do you mean? Like, like right here? I put it there though. I'll have to look into it, step forward. Does the direction of the wood grain matter? 
Um, I don't think so. But I don't know. It, it could be possible. I think the grain of the wood needs to... Okay. Okay. So, that means it has to be like this. Maybe like this. I think these are all kind of like good. I, it looks like puzzles I used to do in school as a kid. Put the square on the bottom then. Okay, let's try the bottom then. Why is this so tiny? I need like a gigantic one. Like, look at this. Bothers me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we can rotate. Like, this looks like it fits so well. Like, look at this dark line. I don't think that would be good. I'm assuming you had to put. Like, this makes sense putting this here, right? Spacing is for the spiders. <laughs> the clock, I, that's what I thought. Like, oh, you just need to add some clock on it, and that's it. And then you're good. I don't know, chat. Maybe we have to do... What if we do something like this instead? And then, oh, I can't put that there. Was it too late to be a junior detective? Mm, yep, it's too late. We're screwed. Okay, this has to be it. Are you kidding me? Ah! I, I think this, this doesn't glow, so it makes me think this is wrong. Oh, it has to be wrong, because, and this is just too little. <laughs> it, okay, it has to go this way. It can only go here, can it also go here? No, it obviously cannot go here because we don't have those. Okay, it has to go either here or here. And this glows, so I think it has to go here. And it, it goes in line with the wood. So, see, see this line? What if the block already... What if the block already on the puzzle is wrong? We Oh, this? I can't take it off, though. What if we... No, that won't work. Will this work? <laughs> that means this has to go here. Um, what do we say? What do we say? Good? Is this good? Also, should I put my lights on? I, I like the spooky vibe. Spooky. Maybe like one light. Oh, other light. This light. Good? Okay. And what about, do we, what do we say with this thing? Good? Like, this is perfect. It fits perfectly. Spooky, Kylie, I know. We just need to fit, fit the, oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the line right here. That has to fit. The square goes in the square hole. Yes. I think I agree with that. Okay, I think this also fits here. Because of the lines. Yes. I think so. So spooky. Uh... I don't... Eh, no. 
No. Eh, eh? Oh! We just had the wrong piece, chat. Oh my god. Did we do this? Did we do this? I did it. First puzzle done. Nice. Beautiful. Woo! First try. <laughs> How's that inlay puzzle coming along? I finished, I finished it. Finished it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. Wow. You'll need to look Nailed around it. for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. Uh, well, I'm a I'm a certified construction worker, by the way. So, okay. how did you meet Abby? How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low. So she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. I'm guessing Abby is the is the ghost lady. Great job. Enjoy this manual labor. <laughs> Here's another puzzle. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance yep, tonight that's to her. contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. So long. Abby is a weirdo, but she's our weirdo. There's some paint here. They're doing some painting, some staining, actually. Can we go in there? Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Schedule. Louise? Noon to 5 p.m. Charlie, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Abby out from 3 to 6. So this is their schedule. I wonder if we need to write this down. Um, I don't know how we know what time it is. Um, I forgot. I think we have to go to her little clock upstairs to see what time it is. If we need to talk to someone. All right, let's keep looking around. What's in here? Ooh, is this the basement? Oh, this Hi, is you must be Nancy. Oh, my name's Charlie. Oh, hello, Charlie. Nancy, I think, is single. Or she's dating one of the Hardy Boys. I can't remember. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really had their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions oh. need a lot of work. Did I miss but something? I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. Oh! Oh, the timer. You can click on this. I forgot. It won't let me click on it right now, but maybe after I'm, like, done with talking to him. Do you think you'll be open in time with all of these accidents and delays? Um, yeah. Well, now that you're here, sure. <laughs> you don't sound convinced. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but... You've got to expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? Exactly! Sure, but why so many? Why so no many, idea. my dude? People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. Oh. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya! He was quick to get rid of me. Super suspicious. Oh, you're right. Okay, so it's 12 15. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck, guys. Anybody know how to play piano? We're probably gonna need to learn or need to know how to play piano later. Because I don't. <laughs> it's stuck. Famous non-alcoholic drinks and how to mix them. Gotta keep it rated G, chat. Minty Festival Punch. Ginger Whisper. Great for parties. And that's it. 
That's all. Those are the only non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> ah. Ooh, newspaper. Bed and breakfast on the rise. SF's B and B boom. Ooh, affordable housing vanishes. Oh. This would be a really cute B and B. Is there anything else? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's an old newspaper. California theater. Theater. <gasps> Scandal. Scandal. Horror. Outrage. <gasps> Citing the increased popularity of stage reviews um, and decreased charitable contributions, the Ladies Protection Society has announced a shocking new strategy for raising much-needed funds for the benefit of widows and orphans in our region. No longer will the good ladies of our society hold garden parties, afternoon teas, or cakewalks to solicit contributions. Instead, these proper wives, daughters, mothers will act on stage like common troubadours in several popular plays in order to raise money for their good works. As decent gentlemen, we should not allow the fair sex to den de uh, denigrate themselves to this level of vulgarity. Women belong in the home, not upon the stage. <gasps> How horrible! Buttholes. Okay. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I cuddly. Cut those parties loose with a whisper of ginger. <laughs> Great for parties. There you go, chat. You can learn so much in an Nancy Drew game. Is there anything else I can click on? Wait, can I click on this door? No, we have to go through this door. This is a pretty stained glass window. <gasps> wow, the foyer. For four a for four. The oh, hello. It's uh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's missing an eye. Oh, it's missing an eye, chat. You have to find uh, what is that? A ruby? Ruby? Maybe. Find a ruby. Is the music good, chat? You guys need to be able to listen. Here's another phoenix. Four, six, five, three. <gasps> it's one o'clock. I love the sound of old clocks. What was that? What was that? That was creepy. What was that? Y'all hear that? This is what the mansion looks like on the outside. Oh my god, me too, cuddly. Is this game any good? I played these games as a child. They're very fun. There's like so many. These are like one of the older ones though. What a very colorful floral room. Subterranean San Francisco. Explore the hidden world that lies beneath the city. Exploring the labyrinth below. Few people know the fascinating world below the streets of San Francisco, and yet a myriad of strange and mysterious sights lie in wait in the subterranean darkness, only to be uncovered by the intrepid urban explorer. Over the past 20 years of sight spelunking, I have found old mines, abandoned utility tunnels, secret rooms, and many old wells and cisterns. Careful attention must be paid when searching these lost areas to avoid accidents. A good light source, building plans, and hard hat are a must. San Francisco has gone through many changes over its 400 year old history. The continual cycle of building, disaster, and rebuilding has created an intricate vertical record of urban development. Wow. Who here lives in San Francisco? <laughs> this was one of the first well, uh, first one I played as a kid. I don't know how I did the puzzles. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Ew, they need to clean. Look at that giant cobweb. Oh my god. There's a box over here. That's creepy. It's like Project Zomboid. I probably smashed the other side of this window and hid it behind the curtain. Um, it's a spider from that last game. 
That was creepy. Why did it do- why did it make that sound? I think the violinist left his violin inside. Can I click on this? Oh, here we go. American speak telephone call. Po. Oh, look, there it is. Valdez. Hotelier, 4653 California Street. That's the address of the... It's the address of the mansion, guys. Maxwell something. The law offices of Maxwell, oh, Metzger and Mass. Um, dear sir, we are pleased to announce that your bid for the auction property located at 4653 California Lane has been accepted. Fees, simple estate interests have been... Uh, have now been transferred through the charitable trust set up by the Properties Grand Tour for the benefit of the Ladies Protection and Relief Society. Wow, that's 1906. Okay. Don't know what that's about, but okay. Ooh. It's good to know it's here. Yeah, it is good to know it's here. There's any fires, guys? We know there's a fire extinguisher here. Who is this? Oh. Should we call anybody? Or we don't need to call anybody right now. The spiders has invaded the other game. <laughs> Not in, but close, about 20 miles east of San Francisco. Game violence creeped me out too. Fake roto dial. I, look at this. It's an old phone. Is there anything else I can click? Let's keep let's keep adventuring around, chat. Is this the door that I came out of? It's not, but I can go this way. <gasps> wow. It's so regal. It won't fit. It won't fit. It won't fit. <laughs> okay, we need tiles. Because it won't fit. Ooh, who's, what's this? What is this? Do I have to read a book? What is this? The Theory of Music. Ooh, music. Note reading. Ah! It's okay. We have somebody that knows ch uh, chess. <laughs> Who knows how to play piano, right, guys? So, we don't need books. We're smart. We know how to read music. Oh, there's a guy! Ooh, what's this? Oh! <gasps> Ooh! I found one of the panels for the fireplace. Books. A nice book. Call best. You mean to call best? Oh, this is the symbol that's on the floor. Also known as the fire bird, this mythical giant bird occurs in the legends of many cultures, including Chinese, uh, Arabic, and American Indian. Every 500 years, the bird builds a great nest and sets it on fire to, raise, to rise forth from its ashes. Ah, fire bird. Anything else? Can we talk to this Hello. guy? Hello. Oh. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Lewis Chandler. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Interesting. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. What? There's ever What? Wow, he's already hating on the, the, the mansion. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. Great. 
This guy is the reason it's haunted. I don't trust his <laughs> sleeve cuffs. <laughs> That's all it takes, Adam. The sleeve cuffs. And you can't can't be trusted. Do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? Accidents? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would what? hardly call those accidents. I'm wall? sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. Wait, what? And although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the These time. people are Please, so quick to just shoo me away. I feel so offended. Everybody's like, okay, um, I gotta go. Bye. Like, fine. I don't want to talk to you anyways. Oh, here we go. It won't fit. Ooh, that one fits. The Legends of San Francisco. I know, the dude's super sus. And the guy downstairs, he was rushing me too. Applegate Lizzie, well loved by Fra San Franciscans, both for her culture and human humanitarian contributions. Lizzie Applegate was a talented actress and songwriter who began her career entertaining minors at local gold camps. In 1880, Lizzie wrote and starred in the tremendously successful play, The Bandit's Treasure, whose cast included Norma Dentfin, Leonor Coast, and Pam Dory. This initial success was followed by a string of other hits, including The Riddle of the Chinese Box, The Fire in the Phoenix Eye, and The Rainbow's Gold. Nice. Ever heard about Lizzie Applegate chat? Anything else? So many paintings. Ooh, what's this? What is this game called? I forgot. I feel like I've played this before. I don't think there's anything else in here, so we'll leave. Let's get out of here. Hi, hi, Wien. How was Pokemon Arceus? It was really fun. All right, I'm supposed to do something with the wall. Oh! Oh, it's already three o'clock. Oh, I found the. I found. I think I found the tool that I needed, but I don't know where to use the tool. Oh, something about a ladder, right? Did y'all hear that? It blinked. Oh, y'all probably didn't see it. Crap, my bug hips in the way. It blinked though. Her eye blinked. Did y'all hear that though? Whoa. What is that? Oh god, I'm freaking myself out with the creaky, the creakiness. Holy cow, that was creepy. Do it again. I don't know if it'll do it again. Okay, her eye does blink. Okay, I have to show y'all. Let me move. I don't know, where should I move my, my thing? Maybe to like, hold on, I have to move this out of the way. Maybe if I do bottom left, would be this better? Here, I'll show y'all again. Here, 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 here. Watch, watch your eye. <gasps> See? It blinks. It's like Harry Potter. I can't click on it. Somebody said they were watching me. Clearly this painting is. It's a ghost cat chat, it's a ghost. It's a, it's a hundred percent. It's a ghost. Uh, where is this ladder? I think. Oh, there's a ladder. I need a paint scraper. It's locked. Oh, I have a key. It's locked. Oh, darn it! It's not the key. <laughs> it's locked. Ooh, so spooky. We need to. I'm guessing it's a key to the attic. Um, let's go tell Rose that we did it. How do we get to... I think we have to go this way. And 
Rose. Kylie, just leave the screen, please. Nancy needs us. Thanks. How are the tiles coming along? What? How are the tiles? Uh, I finished. I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. I'm, I feel like a servant. Blackberry, thank you for the 16 months. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hi, T-Cat. Doing good. I have to now fix the dumbwaiter. She didn't even want to listen to me. These people. It's because I'm young, isn't it? Even though Nancy sounds like she's 40 years old. <laughs> Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room, which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, weird. So it was empty and then she found these papers? How did you find Charlie? He just showed Charlie. up one day. It was really odd. I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. Well, would you look at that? Oh wait, Zang, should I be recording this or no? Why does everyone want you to leave so badly? I, I don't know. I think it's because they think I'm young and stupid. I'll record just in case. The only problem is I have to freaking do this. Okay, there we go. Okay. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property, but he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Chat, everybody's suspicious until proven innocent. Okay. Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? No, I haven't. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Candy Goodbye. Mountain, Charlie. <laughs> Candy Mountain. Behind the scenes. The game is old, so the quality from a ripped VOD is probably the same as recording. <laughs> probably. But just in case, we're going to record it. You can stay and chat. We'll behave or the mods will do something about it. Wait, what? Who? What? But the men, uh, the men in the house are definitely the most sus. Agreed. Oh, agreed. I couldn't agree more. Who hires a super young... Oh! Ooh, who's this person? What's this? Rose. Dear Miss Green, I have amended your fire insurance policy per your instructions. The property located at blah, blah, blah is now insured for the sum of $1 million against fire or earthquake damage. The policy lists you as the sole benefactor. <gasps> the sole benefactor? Wait, doesn't, what about Abby? Why isn't she just saying something about burning the house down? <laughs> Cat. Interesting, chat. Interesting. Ah, let's go talk to her about it. Hello. Oh, we can. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your Sketchy. help. Sketchy. Sketchy. Let's go tell Abby about it. Abby, did you know there's a insurance policy and Rose is the sole benefactor? Oh my god. Oh, I can just go in her room? <laughs> I'm in somebody's room. Let's go through her underwear. No, I'm just kidding. The ma mastering the art of illusion. Of all the spiritualists in the turn of the century, none was as famous as Madame Ar Ar Aragini. Noted for her spider sapphire bracelets and heavy russian accent in her memoirs i am the spider lady 
Madame Aragene revealed her secrets for her creating an atmosphere of illusion was just as important as the illusion itself. The best illusions were those that were created over a period of time or anticipated by the audience. As an illusionist, you must be aware of the influence that you have on the audience's perception of the events you create. Always establish an aura of intrigue and mystery about yourself. As you talk with your audience, try to plan, plant the seeds of illusion in the perceiver's mind. Remember, illusions are about, the con about control and you must always strive to maintain this control. <sighs> so smart. Illusions. Oh! Oh my god, she's spying on people! Unless I was already there. She's a spire chat. Oh my god, this is like a digital and this is like a real photo. <laughs> this looks funny. <laughs> the Zodiac and you. The Chinese tradition. Hey, it's the year of the tiger. The Chinese horoscope is organized on a 12-year cycle with the each with each year assigned to a certain animal. While the origin of these animal signs is unclear, many believe that they were named by Buddha. Before he departed from Earth, he summoned all the animals, but, the, but only 12 came to bid him farewell. As a reward, he named a year after each one in the order that they arrived. First came the rat, then the ox. The tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. Thus, we have 12 signs today. Ah, I am year of the horse, chat. Nay. I love how they mix, like, real photos, though. <laughs> Those are the blinking eyes we saw. Well, but that was just the mirror. Unless, maybe we can find, like, the area behind the painting. Wait, that's her. She's in this magazine. Uh, Agatha Eckhart's fortune telling for business popularity. For business popularity? Wow, we're really just going through her things, chat. <laughs> Ooh, moon incense. Moon. Is this the kanji for moon? Is there anything else here? A strapping young gentleman. Oh, this thing is moving. How pretty. I had one of these as a child. Can't go through her drawer. Her room is exactly what I would expect it to look like. Old West Romances. Lizzie Applegate and the Bandit. According to legend that... I can't read it that. In infamous mass something bandit, El Diablo fell madly in love with Lizzie Applegate during her years as an entertainer at gold mining camps. At the end of Lizzie's performance, El Diablo would ride his jet black steed up to the stage and leave her a bouquet of gardenias. It was rumored that Lizzie joined El Diablo's band of thieves and was present at the Christmas gold robbery of 1878. Aww. <laughs> okay. What about this Applegate lady? Something's missing here. Oh, it's a spider. Kill it with fire! Where's my hairspray? Something's missing here. How do you know what it's missing in there, Nancy? I like this. This is pretty. Can we put like a CD on? Well, hopefully she never finds out that I went snooping through her things. That lady is sus. Super sus. Um. What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Uh... Maybe we... Oh! <laughs> Who 
who's crying? What the heck is that sound? What's going on? Who is crying? Was that Abby? Oh yeah, I was supposed to fix a dumb waiter. I don't know how to fix a dumb waiter. Oh my god, what was that? That's Nancy weeping because of the manual labor. <laughs> She's basically a child, so it's just like ch child work. Um <laughs> Child slave Nancy Drew. Um, okay, let's uh fix the dumb waiter. The oh. rope is cut. Oh, the rope is cut. Shoot! I guess it can't be fixed. I guess. Or maybe we go to ask uh Maybe we go ask Charlie to help us? How do we get to Charlie again? Is he downstairs? Charlie! Oh, he's gone too! Wait, what time is it? When does he leave? Oh, let's go snooping through he his things. Oh, ah. Oh! We just <laughs> Oh, he has like two other screwdrivers, so I guess it's fine. This will probably come in handy in the future. Ooh. Ooh, a secret compartment. Okay. There's nothing in there, though. It's stuck. It's stuck. Hmm. Don't ask me, chat. You never know what you can use to get something unstuck. This has got some matches. What is this? A key! Ooh! I think this key... Uh, is used for the attic thing? Maybe? I think there's... Anything else we can click on? I don't think so. Is there... Was there anything else here? That's a nice table. Oh! <gasps> Who was spying on us? Who was that? Who who was that? Who, is there anybody out here? Huh. Somebody was spying on us. So spooky, guys. The whole ICU thing always gives me a chill. <laughs> um, okay, let's. Let's go up in the attic. That's always the best place to go during uh, scary ghost movies slash games, right? Woo! I was expecting Lady D- Ha ha ha! I can't, can't spell her name. I feel that. Ooh. Okay. The Mysterious Storybook. She pushed her auburn hair back behind her ear and continued the arduous work. It's literally like Nancy Drew. Each pile of dirt seemed heavier than the last and the damp night air was stifling. Somewhere in the distance, a clock struck midnight. Suddenly, the sound of metal hitting the metal sounded resounded from the bottom of the pit. Carol dropped to her knees and quickly dug through the dull metallic chest. Soon! The lid was uncovered and she pried its lock open with her crowbar. Her eyes flashed as she saw the chest contents. A thousand pieces of gold glinted in the soft moonlight. Captain Stubing's Stub treasure, the young heroine cried, and soon it would be mine. A gruff voice interrupted from above. Before she could react, Carolyn saw the backside of the shovel for a split second and then darkness. When she awoke, she could hear the faint clink of gold pieces hitting one another. The struggled, she struggled to stand up, 
but found both her hands and feet tied together. She slowly moved her hand to her back pocket, but found that her pin knife was gone. Suddenly, are you looking for this? Mr. Niles grinned, standing over her with the knife in his hand. I know how clever you are, and took the liberty to remove the contents of your pocket. Please excuse the liberties I have taken. I'll do no such thing, you villain. That treasure belongs to the Stubing family, and you know it. Oh, treasure. <laughs> You know, I'd love to see Kylie play a horror game. I've played lots of it's horror games. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Gotta check everything. It's locked. It's locked. Hey, fine. Oh, oh, crowbar! I forgot everything that was stuck, though. Uh, chat? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? We dined with the men in a strange quarter of Flagivla, known as the Enchanted Dragon. Mind my herbal dong showed me the lively miller that she had purchased. Parlor that wink, and we exchanged pleasantry pleasantries about something travels in the Orient. As the meal progressed, an elderly man approached me telling a puzzle puzzle fox shaped like a beverly these appeared to be no hanged or any in something of its mechanical from the outage and get the solution to open the fox was very intricate and involved the artwork was magnificent, and I became enchanted, not really, with the contraption that with the art artistic genuinely of the kindly old man, my mind ran wild with the positively pos of the creating an, a hotel. Nice. Oh my god, there's more. Wow. This is giving my soul <laughs> life. Thank you. If y'all can read it better, let me know. <laughs> Snape reading this. Where room the are puzzled, full of traps and trickers, tricks, just like that pyramid fox in the why, how do you read this? In the looking men, mendrin, I asked about the old men and uh, I am em employment in, in infatuation and pressed him to return with me to engineer my next hotel. He became embarrassed and my dining companion Harloff my forthcoming attendee even in the far east where their tradition are so different from when a woman in is still confined to remain passive and weak regave regardless of her passion or intellect well that sucks i read that just fine Okay, all right. Uh, let's write off. Uh, my one of my weaknesses is reading. Uh, cursive. <laughs> oh, I got an iron. An old iron. <laughs> Did y'all understand that? Cause that's gonna be on the quiz. I bet your butt. It's gonna be really important to the story. 
The head is creepy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that was some busted cursive. <laughs> Even that hurt my eyes. I hurt, it hurt my soul reading that. <laughs> oh, we found another one for the, the, the tile for the fireplace. Okay, I think that was it. Oops. Okay. Nothing creepy in the attic, thank God. <gasps> oh my god. It's stuck. Oh my god, we're trapped! Oh my god, we're trapped in the attic! No! Oh wait, no, we're not. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're good. We're good. Scary. Um okay, so we have a crowbar. I can't remember. Okay, there's one place. There's one area I remember that we could go to. Oh wait, this isn't the fireplace. Oh wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This was stuck, wasn't it? <gasps> oh. It's... I can't see where I'm going. Oh, okay. Darn it. I need like a flashlight. Shoot. Okay. All right, we can't we can't keep going that way. Darn it. Okay. Who do we hit with a crowbar? I don't know, but it makes a really good weapon right now with all the creepy, the people crying, the violin, the sound in my bedroom. Like, who freaking knows? What else was stuck? I swear there was some other stuff that was stuck. Cat? I'm lost already since I was in a call with my mom for the past 15 minutes. A quick recap. We're in an old mansion. This lady... And this other lady named Abby, who's like a seance ghost person, they bought it. And they're trying to renovate it because they want to turn it into a a, a B and B, a bread and back bread and bed and breakfast. Um, but strange things are happening. And uh Abby thinks it's ghosts. Rose here just thinks she doesn't believe in bad luck, but so, so I don't know what she believes in, but it's a lot of bad things are happening. And we're trying to get down to the, the, the mystery of it. We've also met a guy named Charlie. Can I look at this? Oh, this is what the house looks like, by the way. We met a guy named Charlie who is helping renovate. He's very young, very affordable. And we also made, met a guy named, what is his name, Lewis? Who is helping them with uh, information on antiques. Because he's like an antique trader or seller or something like that. I can't remember. But, uh, cat napping? Interesting. Oh, what, what is this? How to create a beautiful four-poster bed in ten easy steps. You'll love the drama this four-poster four -poster bed brings to your bedroom. Okay. Am I supposed to be making... Am I going to be making a bed after this? This lady has been assigning us tasks to do. Like, we had to fix a puzzle... We had to scrape paint tiles. We're a child! She's giving us so much work to do. Imagine having to generate all the content. What do you mean, having to generate all that content? Wait, what, what content? Oh, that's a nice house. That's this house. <laughs> Just sell it back and buy a new house. We also saw that Rose, wait, can we talk to her about it now? We saw that Rose is the sole benefactor if this house catches on fire. Which is sus because she and Abby bought this together. Hello. So it's super I can see sus. You busy. I'll let you go. So long. Did that help? Is that is that helping people that just joined? I'll probably explain some more things that we see. But there's just some creepy stuff going on. Lots of ghosty, weirdy, creepy stuff. Alright, where where is the Where's the, the, I'm already forgetting where I am. Where's the fireplace? Is it in here? That's where I came from. Where's the fireplace? Ah! Oh, maybe it's out here. Yeah, there was already like a, a creepy poster saying, I see. And like in a creepy whisper. So spooky. Was there anything in here that was stuck? Oh, this thing? Oh, no. 
where the fire extinguisher is. FYI, fire extinguisher is there. <gasps> Did y'all see that thing move? What is she even doing? I don't know, Jai. She's super sus. Like, she's, she's looking busy. Did y'all see that thing move? It moved. You didn't see it? It's not my imagination. Clip it! It did move! Can you please summarize the cursive handwriting book for me? <laughs> uh. <laughs> about that. <laughs> oh, here it is. It won't fit. Okay, we need to find one more. What do you mean, what moved? It moved! Guys, I'm not crazy. Clip it! Is Rose the girl in the red sweater? Yes. Yes. Abby is what is the lady upstairs with the red hair, and she's like the one that believes in ghosts and, and stuff. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, chess. The night, lesson one. The night, unlike any other. I know. I understand chess, unfortunately. Um, what is this? Login name? Lewis. Password? Password. <laughs> Darn it. Maze, please. Oh. oh my god, wait, what? Whoa, what's going on? What in the world? What is this? I have to go through a maze? Is this a computer game? The heck? It feels like... Ah! This feels like Quake. <laughs> um... How is this supposed to be a maze? Heck. Is this gonna give me his password? <laughs> Hacking! Is this Windows 95 screensaver? <laughs> it, it's hard to turn. There you go. Am I there yet? Ooh, ooh! Change of scenery. With some flowers, some nice wood paneling. Can I go this way, maybe? Where's the entrance? Where, where is this even leading me? <laughs> Where's the dial-up noise? <laughs> we have to connect to the internet first. Bruh, when I played this game, we, me and my friend had dial-up. We literally had to do... <laughs> We literally had to sign up. Oh my god, I remember that. And then we talked to random people on AIM. AOL Instant Messenger. ASL. Where do I go? This really is a maze. Crap, I'm lost. Help, help. I'm lost. Maybe I go this way. Does any of this look familiar, Trent? Am I going back the way I came? I think I'm going back the way I came. <laughs> Nancy Drew Games put in games within games within games. <laughs> well, eventually we'll find the end of this maze. By the time we do, he'll come back and be like, Get off our computer! Like, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know what's going on, my dude. Oh my god, there's nothing here. Maybe I am supposed to go down this way. Go down this way. <laughs> Gifts? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Crap. Wait, is this the right way? Oh. What? What did I just 
do? I turn the light on? Oh wait, no, 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 turn the light on. What the heck? Does that like open like a secret door or something? What did that do? Hi Jonah, how are you? What is that? What is the turning the light do? My is it still a dead end? It is. <laughs> oh no, Zay. Uh, playing a game within a game. Exactly. You have to figure out what the heck is going on. Here, I'm gonna go back to the light. I feel like if 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 anything were to show. It would be near the light. See? See? The light. And then I could turn in here. Oh, interesting. Hopefully nothing pops out. <laughs> um <gasps> Oh, this is new. Okay, I think. I think this is new. It looks it looks brighter because of its light. But now I'm not sure so sorry, sure. So this looks like the beginning. Oh there was that creepy face. Maybe the goal was to turn the light on and then to get get back? <laughs> Ideal. That's so creepy looking. Um, hi, really. Any any suggestions, chat, of a place I I might have missed in this maze of mazes? I don't even know why you can even do a maze. Maybe there was like one area I missed. I think you went the right way on the. On the right, but you didn't go through. Okay. When you see it coming up, let me know. <laughs> this is where it like turns into the wooded area. Okay, so there's one and then two. This is the area that turns off the light. And I don't, I don't understand why. You could walk through the walls. Oh my god, that would be horrible. I don't think you can walk through the walls. <laughs> well, I've been following for a while, my dude. So this goes back to the entrance. So this way is the only new way. There was nothing else here. So the wall right here is sus. Maybe we can walk through it. No, we can't. Okay. And we can't walk through these either. Okay, and then there's one and then two. So let's go to one first. I think one basically puts us back in the circle. Or does it? So I'm stuck. This is still one, guys. Ah! Literally a giant circle. See? Circle. So if we go... Crap. The dead end. 
<laughs> Never mind, I've lost two. Or, or unless we haven't gone this way. I don't think we have. I don't think we've gone this way. I think this is new. I think this is new, chat. <gasps> this is new! This is new! Because I haven't seen this wallpaper! Ooh. Oh, we're turning the lights on. New area. Oh, the wallpaper's making me sick, though. We're doing the maze chat. What is this thing? Oh, it's just a poster. Oh, God. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. This looks cool. We're gonna- we're gonna stay in the dungeon water area, the sewage area, I'm guessing. I'm gonna be so pissed if he finally, if he gets to this computer area and he's gonna be like, What are you doing on my computer? I'll be like, I just wanted to play the game. <laughs> there were so many other areas I could go. Oh. <gasps> Why is it blue? Did we do it? you a hack guys just FYI if you ever need to hack somebody gotta go through the maze San Francisco City Guide Hotel Cyan Palace Pomodoro Golden Gardenia Hotel oh that's it that's that's our this is this is ours why does he have there's four hotels in his file interesting there's a key oh Okay, guys, I need you guys to write this down. Storage unit, 150624. Business entry, 603. Laptop, antiques. I'm guessing this is password. Maintenance, 225012. Briefcase. Briefcase. That's a good one. 46534863. Back room, 42H. Fireproof box. 3964 home office safe security alarm 113 you got all that you took a screenshot okay well i guess that works too a floppy disk imagine and a cd what is this not printing what did he oh what did he trash okay nothing else is available is there anything else in here weird well, I don't- I still don't know his login name. Wait, am I done? Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Okay, darn. Well, we're gonna need those passwords, just FYI. <laughs> What's on the floppy disk? I don't have- we don't have a floppy disk. Unfortunately. Um, is- I don't- I feel like- That was it? That was lame. Oh! Wait, the last person that we haven't snooped on is Rose. So, let's see if we can snoop on what time is it. It's 11.15. She's gotta be asleep by now, right, chat? Oh wait, wrong way. Alright. All right, let's go see. Let's go see if she's asleep. <gasps> ah! Did y'all see that? <laughs> so spooky. Do you think that went to the basement? Hello? Hello? Huh. Remember we had to find a flashlight, by the way. Hmm. And I have to fix this dumb waiter. The rope is cut. The rope is cut. Oh, 
Well, didn't think that was gonna work, <laughs> but okay. Yay! We, <laughs> we fixed the dumb waiter. Is she asleep? Oh, <gasps> she's gone! What is she working on? Oh, she's been writing the to-do list. Pay bills, transfer money to checking, order paint for shutters, color, measure windows for blind, replace lost tiles on din fireplace, refinish kitchen cabinets, sand and polish hardwood floors, oil door hinges upstairs. Oh, oil. I think oil would be something that would be really good to have. Repair hanging gutter in the back, get estimate to fix a roof, call chimney cleaner, repair dumbwaiter. I did that. You're welcome. Fix broken doorbell, add, a tr add a additional phone lines, order bulbs for front yard. Oh, that's a long list. Bro would be busy. Chandler Interiors, dear Rose, what a pleasure it was to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I am extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that came with the house. They will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovation. Victorian homes pose many difficulties, but structurally and aesthetically, especially for an amateur renovator like yourself, <gasps> it's kind of rude. My exper expertise in this field can save you both time and money. I will come over tomorrow at noon to show you the roof tiles I found for you. I also found a good deal on scaffolding equipment. All right, so that's the Lewis guy. Homeowner's insurance from Rose. Dear Miss Green, we have received the accident reports that you have submitted and have summarized them below. We are very concerned about the high number of incidents that you have experienced and although we would not like to raise your insurance policy premiums, we must examine this option if these accidents continue. We are also delaying any payments until we can send our building inspector to examine your property to determine if there are any safety concerns with your renovation methods. Please call us to make an appointment. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Hey, like, turn around. Those are the people who created the game. Homeowner's insurance. Broken kitchen gas line, no structural damage, burst water main and upstairs bedroom, minimal structure damage, scaffolding collapse, no injuries, vandalism damage to outside shrubbery, stolen roofing materials. What? Yeah, that's a, that's a giant list of things that have gone wrong. A million dollars? Wait, total account line. Is there, oh, can we look through a purse? We can't. Man, these people are boring. The juiciest thing that we found was this. And this wasn't even, this wasn't even tucked away. Hi, Panda. How much all this cost? Well, it's, it says a million dollars because she has insurance on the house for a million dollars if it ever um if fire or earthquake problems ever occur so um okay so the dumb waiter was fixed okay i don't know if somebody was gonna walk across the thing again if this this always freaks me out. <sighs> so creepy. The eye keeps blinking. Where's the dumb waiter? Uh. Here we go. <gasps> the tile! We finished. Dragon Eye Pottery. I have a feeling we need to write these down. I can't remember the other ones that, that we have seen. But maybe somebody write write this down. I, these, a three, like an E with a seven. <laughs> Let me know. Write it down. You have to write it down. It's not the same if you don't write it down, Jai. Screenshots are boring. We have to do this old school, okay? Old school. Do you think that we were able to take screenshots while we were playing this game? No. 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 Oh, she's sleeping. 
Wow, she's, she's a very loud snorer. Where does Rose sleep? Oh, maybe that was Rose crying. I don't know if I can click any other doors. Huh. Okay, let's go to the fireplace one more time. I swear that moved though. Chad, did you did you guys see it? <laughs> Samantha. Tell that to 10-year-old Kylie who printed things out. Hey, that was later when I had a printer. I didn't have a printer for a long time. Definitely didn't have it during this. Oh, something happened. What happened? Oh. Oh. It's like in the spider game. What are all these secret compartments? Okay, that was creepy. Wait, do I have to do it again? Oh my god, I have to hurry up and go. Ooh, ooh, lantern! What is this? <gasps> oh, you can spy. Oh, where is this? Is it? Oh, there's that that game. Whoa! Everybody be spying on everybody, man. We have the mirror. We have this. I wonder if this also shows us that one, one um, blinky, McBlink face. Is there anything I can? Child. Oh, oh! Write this one down too. Somebody was watching while we were talking to Lewis. I think. Hello, Kushin. How are you? Never going to own a Victorian style. Bro, if it has all these little secret thingies, I'd love it. I don't think I would trust any mirrors, though, in this house. I would, like, put a... Uh, put, like, a... Blanket over the mirrors just in case especially in the bathroom or where you change is there any other thing here is there any other thing i'm missing but did y'all write that down cat cat right a bunch of creepers up in this house spying on rose would be like watching grass grow <laughs> if you want to be authentic you gotta switch to a ball based mouse oh no oh i hated those I had those. They're painful. Um, okay. So, this is where it looked. It was this! This guy! You can look through his eyes. So creepy. Alright, we have a lantern. I don't know if it works, but... I guess one way to find out, right? I didn't know if there was anything there. Sorry, I mean, I suspect it was one of the weird people on just chatting. Wait, what? I totally drew an image of the symbol. Yeah, you better have. I'm expecting, I'm expecting to see your notes after this. And compare notes. Oh! Oh! It's just a stupid moth! Why is she freaking me out? <laughs> it's just a stupid bug. Um, where am I? <gasps> where am I? What am? Where am I? <gasps> oh, we're on the opposite. Oh, a two. What is it? A mirror. The, I'm telling you guys, the mirrors. The mirrors in this place. What are these called? One sided mirror. Two sided. One, one sided mirror. This. Whoa, what? People eating food? Great King Chinese Restaurant. Ooh, write this symbol down. Write this symbol down. 
Oh, and write out, write down Great King Chinese Restaurant. Two way mirror. Two way mirror. Freaking stalking McStalk Mansion. Okay, so I'll write that down. Okay. Good, 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 good. What's this? El Diablo. Not much is known about this masked bandit who played the Domingo Baca. Trail between 1875 and 1880. Except for his, his trademark black outfit and man. Many legends associate him with the Great Christmas Robbery. But contemporary historians now believe the robbery was fabricated by the Stagecoach Company. Since treasure has never been found. Five thousand dollars. El Diablo. <laughs> San Francisco. Dear mom and dad, sorry I haven't written in a while, but things were really, have been really busy and working now. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I'm learning a lot and I'm very proud of the work I'm doing. I'm still in between places, so I'll let you know when what my address is once I settle down. Say hey, hi, Grandpa. Charlie. So, has he been like sleeping here? Do we know that he's <gasps> a floppy disk? Term paper. Oh, likely, likely story, Charlie. Let's go judge your term paper. Where is this? Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh. Where, where is that? Where did I come out of? Excuse me? I just came out of the wall. Okay. All right, we're gonna go use the floppy disk. Oh wait, not this way. Nancy is like, I'm gonna stay up all night long. All right, we got a floppy disk. But what was the login name? Can I? Oh, I put it in. Okay. Lewis? What was the password? Don't make me do the maze game again. What was the password, chat? Antiques? Oh, it worked. Ah! Contents. Fact from fiction. The great... Christmas gold robbery, final term paper in history 1A3 outline. I hated writing papers. So he wrote about the objective, best sources, robbery value ranges, formulas, participants. Diego Valdez. Valdez Family Ranch. Oral histories. That's it. That's all I'm getting. Dumb. That's it. It really was a term paper. Darn it. I thought it was like code for something else. That's boring. Should I put it back? I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. Is there anything else we can do? Any any suggestions, chat? I've been like piloting. Non-stop here. Sorry. Oh, really, Cushion? Me me and my best friend, we every time a new Nancy Drew game would come out, it would always be on Fridays, I think. Or maybe they would come out on different days, but we were only allowed to go and buy them on Friday. We would stay up really late and buy them. Um, I think it came out on midnight or something. I can't remember. But we would like stay up like super early or super late, I guess, technically. Is there anything else here we can click on? Um, and we would play Nancy Drew. We'd go to Walmart, buy the game, come home and like play it like straight. Sometimes until we could beat it. The briefcase, oh, oh, there's a briefcase. Am I missing the briefcase? Where's the briefcase? Where's the briefcase? Am I blind? Where's the briefcase? Where's the briefcase? Well, we are a senior detective, Adam, so... 
Did you go to the one room when the alarm went off? What alarm? We like you play for us while we hide in our blankets. <laughs> you can't hide. You have to help me. This is why I signed up. You have to help me. Otherwise, we're doomed. It was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. Me too. I'm sad they don't really come out with any new ones. I don't know when the last one came out, but they've kind of like... No offense, her interactive, but he's kind of gone downhill. But it's okay. Mm. Some of them are really long, cuddly. And also it depends on like how long it takes you to like solve puzzles and stuff. It is a floppy disk. Um yeah, this game is old. This game came out in the t in two in two thousand. Uh in two thousand. Should we maybe we should go to bed? Should we make Nancy go to bed and then maybe like interrogate people? With all the, all the things that we found. Alright, let's, uh, oh wait, 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 this thing. It's stuck. stuck, remember? It's stuck. Darn it. Oh! A key! Oh. Put that back on there. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Wait, a key? Uh... Where... What do we do with the key? I love the music in these games too. It's so spooky. But it sounds so nice. A key, a key, a key. We already used this key to open the attic. Where is this key? Was there anything else in the attic that we couldn't open? Oh, we have the alarm code. But where is the, where is it's the locked. alarm? That animation, I don't know why, but it's so spooky to me. Wasn't there? Ah, uh -huh. locked. I was right! Ah! The bandit's treasure. I'll wait in your bub when I'm town in a house high above the sea. Uh. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's important. Oh, this is the tale of the bandit's loot and how it came to be that golden dreams of blissful love soon veiled you and me. Oh, my love, right far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Babuena town in a house high above the sea. I traveled as far as the Golden Gate where I held your treasure true. Where the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh, my love, right far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Babuena town in a house high above the sea. Nice. Charitable performance for the benefit of the Ladies Protection Relief Society, the Bandit's Treasure. Performed at the Sumptuous Golden Gardenia Hotel. They're really wanting us to know about this treasure chat. Sus. Oh, there's Applegate. Oh, God. Dear Pin, that letter shall serve and... As an introduction for my faithful employee, Wing Tang, who had been in a in my service and head chef for over ten years, it is with much regret that I must discharge him, and were it not for the retirement of my establishment, I would still retain his services. Sincerely, Valdez. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Kanji. It means beginning. Oh, write this down. Beginning. Yerba Buena is a part of San Francisco. <gasps> is it? It's piano time, boys. Where did I put there? Is this Applegate like Watergate, but for New York City? What? <laughs> Applegate's the last name of a person. Hi, 
epic. Oh no. Smush my chapstick. Is there anything else? Looks like I can click so much here. Okay, chat. We need to do something. Oh, wait. I. Oh! Look! Look! Look at the circles! I think. They look like they're they're circled for a reason. I can't read this. Who plays piano or is musically inclined here? Can you tell me what that is? Maybe it's a code. Maybe it's like apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club was looking at her, you know? <laughs> The wife had you on the TV for the whole morning. <sighs> um, she was dying when you were playing Kill It With Fire. Oh, really? I'm glad she did. I'm glad she enjoyed. <laughs> um, but for real, can y'all write these down? <laughs> Let's see. It's one, two, wait, one, two, three. The third line in the middle. I can't read music. I used to. This is the one, two, three, four. The fourth space at the top. We can go and look at the book again, but I need somebody to write this down. Oh, wait. Maybe it's something to do with the counts. The counts they circle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five. One. Wait, there's numbers? One, four, three. Oh, I think that one's different. Four. Wait, what? Wait, how do you get the? F how do you get those numbers? And then this one is on the second line and has a little dot. I don't know if the music notes matter. And then this is in the second space and this is on the second line. Oh wait, they're both on the second line. These are on the second line. This is in a space. This is in a space. That's on the third line. Can y'all remember that? It. What's a bagag? Oh, it's bagag. Bagag. B e. G A G bagag, uh bagag. Okay, bagag. Maybe we have to like, maybe shuffle the words. Gabug. Uh, ga B A bag bagig. I don't think that's it, but hmm. Or maybe we just play the notes. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe we're overthinking this. All right. Stop. Oh, crap. All right. Bagag. Bagag it is, chat. You're going to have to tell me what where bagag is on the piano, though. Bagag. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Bagag. I have no idea. <laughs> Is there a bagag option? Here, we can hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can only hit these. We can't hit the outer keys right here. And I don't think we can hit these keys either. So the white key on the right of the third black key. Right here. B, oh, B is white to the left of the three blacks. Oh, right here. Wait, this is the left, this one. Wait, seven, eight, five, six, five. Wait, you, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, five, Huh. 
played Toto? I was trying to do some kind of song from it. Okay, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, oh, 79454? Seven? I can't do, I can't do nine. I can only do these up till these. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It only goes eight. So we need bagag. Six is B. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. B. That's all I got. First note you hit is D. Okay, so this is D. I don't know the order of the letters. Six, eight, four, five, four. Six, eight, four, five, four. Huh. Didn't work. Hi, Susu. B, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Okay. The gag. B. E. Uh. G. A. D. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> My love, here is the key you'll need. The bandit's treasure. Oh, okay. That's it? The cobwebs? We did the bagag song! Woo! Can I do like a, like a... Is there any tunes I can do with the... That I can do with this? What if I play like Mary Had a Little Lamb? Mary had a... Look at that. I have no idea what to do this with, but, uh, yay. We did something. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, put it over something? No. I don't know. <sighs> We're so musically talented, child. So good. Everybody's still asleep. Okay. You know what? We're gonna give Nancy a good old break. It's five in the morning. <laughs> oh god. Let's give Nancy like a little power nap. Oh wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. Let's figure it. Sorry, I'm going in and out like crazy. The ghosts are probably like, oh my god. Will she shut up? Okay. So we need to talk to these people. So noon let's wake up at noon and in oh 8 a.m 8 a.m let's start interrogating people we're detectives after all we have to make them feel like they're under a watchful eye with my micro microphone oh my god my with my m magnifying glass right in their face All right, let's put Nancy to bed until, what do we say, 8 a.m.? <laughs> gotta, love, gotta love that sound. Morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. Hey, you need I sound sleep? <laughs> Good night, Susu. All right, let's start talking to people. All right, Abby. Aha. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. What? Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Uh, Please sit down. What? What's we going really on? We don't have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. 
gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? <gasps> Whoa! Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, oh. my wife. <gasps> Where can she be? It sounds so staged, the though. The spirits have spoken. Oh, that was weird. The, the seance the is piano over. Move. We've got a busy day tomorrow, <laughs> and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Why is she so concerned with fire? Also, we just performed a seance at 8 a.m. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. What the heck? What in the world? The glass broke, the piano moved. There's a creepy... <gasps> It went down the basement. Did you see that? Fastest day ever, I know, right? Can we even talk to anybody? She's still gone. Shoot. Is there anything new? Gosh darn it! Gotta go back and go to bed! Anything here? Wait, wait, wait. Let's go downstairs. How did the piano do that? And then the glass broke. It looked fine to me. And there was a creepy girl in the window. Oh, it's so spooky. <laughs> Ooh, wee. All right, we got a. Oh, I'm going. I'm turning my. I'm getting turned around. We need to go back upstairs. She's she's been up so she's been up so late. She's been seeing ghosts. Oh goodness. I'm going to bed. I'm getting. I'm go, I'm packing my bags and I'm getting out of here. I I'm getting. <laughs> All right. 8 a.m. I'm leaving. Bye. We're here at Ghost now, too. Oh, it's just a yawn. Oh, her yawn's freaking. Her yawns even scare me. <laughs> God. Can we talk to this lady now? I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. You didn't even have to perform that seance for me to believe you, lady. Like, honestly, the seance didn't do it for me. It's everything else. Yeah, see? I'm convinced that this house is haunted. Yeah. I'm just not sure who is responsible. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long lost soulmates wandering aimlessly in the netherworld. Returning to this house Is to search Bell? for each other. Oh, I only hope that one day I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. Is Valdez the El Diablo guy? I don't know if I made that connection. Because then I know the apple bottom jeans lady is, you know, the girl that Val that El Diablo liked. I'm assuming El Diablo is Valdez, so... Someone who was having trouble with the bathroom situation? Possibly. But I love how the subtitle said ghost snarling or something. What kind or wailing. of is Charlie? He seems to feel Alright, time to interrogate. Mishaps. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. What do you mean? What the heck? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, 
and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Well, what were you doing in the basement? He's working down there. He works down there. He's not gonna... What? Right? Hold on, my head touches it, okay? Like, the basement is where he works. You would think that she's spying on him, you know? So, it's so weird. Um, okay. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. You think so? I don't know. I don't know many people who would want to stay in a bed and breakfast if it was haunted. Would you guys stay in a bed and breakfast if it was known to be haunted? How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Hmm, that's true. Marketing is really important. If it was cheap? No. Does it have fiber? Maybe? No, but there's plenty of people out there who would. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Oh, wait. Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. I want to tell her about how Rose has, like, the insurance, but Is oh well. Is there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Hmm, interesting. Also, one last annoying thing. Sorry, chat. I want to move this. I want to move me here. So hold on. One second. One second. Oh, wait. It's not going to show it. Duh. Hold on. Why did I move it? Darn it. There we go. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Now I'm not hiding anything. I was bothered because I was hiding the subtitles. Okay. Do you have any idea who this woman might be? No, I don't. Sorry. <gasps> I heard someone crying in the hallway! I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yeah! Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Who? Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Huh. Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Wait, no. I think he's sleeping in the house. Wait. Oh, that's so suspicious. They don't know he's... Between apartments? That seems kind of odd. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. Well, I don't know about on the streets, but, like, this hasn't changed. This was back in 2000. <laughs> wow, California hasn't changed. Fancy someone can't cry in their own hallway. Harsh <laughs> mud. Let you get back to what you were doing. Oh, Charlie and his apartment. All right, we're we're interrogating Charlie. All right, Charlie boy. Oops. Twenty years later, and the berry is still the same. Hey Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. I guess. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose oh, he wasn't in the chair? It. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? Or he was behind the mirror watching. I wonder if he saw the ghost lady in the mirror, though. Wait, he wasn't the other person in the chair? Oh, was that Lewis? I thought there was... Or maybe that was Nancy. 
there was three people. Huh. Have you met Lewis Chandler? Hmm. What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. How do you like working for oh, Abby? God, She's not bad. Me. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on oh, Rose's nerves sometimes. Turn my lights off. She can get on Rose's nerves sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. Oh. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? <laughs> Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Okay. I can agree to that it hasn't changed here. <laughs> Chill, no. You should give Bess a call. You know, it's a great idea. We should give Bess a call. Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I was wondering where it was. Oh. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. Oh, thank... Oh. Oh, we're giving... Oh, we're giving back his floppy disk. Oh, because we took it. Oh, wow. We're evil. That must be an interesting paper you're writing. I just started to write it, so I don't know very much about the robbery. It's hard to separate fact from fiction, especially when most of the information is based on rumors. True. What happened to the gold? Whatever happened to the gold? Nobody knows. Some historians say that the bank faked the robbery to collect the insurance money. Oh. Insurance money. Insurance is a giant Was theme in this. Was it El Diablo who stole the gold? Or someone else. It was definitely El Diablo, but no one knows who he was. In my opinion, El Diablo never existed. He was a composite of different outlaws from that era. Ah. Uh. Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? I you have. Like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? Yes. No, I haven't. Oh. Okay. I'll let you get back to your room. All right, let's go call Bess. Room. Where was the telephone again? Let's go call, let's go call Bess, chat. Bess is the one I, who, who I wrote to. Wait, I think, uh, I think it was this way. Where was it? In here? Oh, here we go. Alright, Bess. Um. Aw, Jax! We're so gifty to blacken. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Roll. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Mm. Who the heck is Emily? Wait, what happens if we call home? Three, seven, three, nine. Dial tone. Calling home. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, how are you? Is that her grandma? Rose. Oh. Fine, but I didn't realize she was so young. Ghostbuster. How did you meet her? Doesn't she look great? You'd never think she was a day over 50. I met Rose at the River Heights Community Theater after she retired from the school district, don't you remember? Abby was working with us too. Have you met Abby yet? Yes. Yes. She thinks the house is haunted. Abby has always been a little dramatic. But Rose tells me she really believes in that spiritualism stuff. A waste of time, if you ask me. I just wanted to let you know I arrived safely. Goodbye, Hannah. Well, all right, dear. Let me know if you need anything. Goodbye, dear. Six, five, six, eight, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Wait, if I do it. Six, eight, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Does it do anything? We're sorry. Your All call right. cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Um, one, five, two, three, five, 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 four, four, 
six eight. I want. I can't remember, but doesn't their like phone numbers stay the same in all the games? But like Bess and George eventually like move in with each Hello? other. Hi Bess, it's Nancy. Hi Nancy, George is here. Oh, let me put kidding. on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Is it eight six seven five? Some strange accidents have delayed the eight, project. Eight six seven uh -oh. five. Well, oh, that's this. it. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. I'll ghost? try that one. Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? Um, uh... Secret attic. Listen to this. I found a secret attic and an old desk. It looks like no one's been in there for years. There's probably a lot of clues about the house in there. Oh, what was in the desk? An old playbill for a musical called The Bandit's Treasure. The Bandit's Treasure? Maybe there is treasure in the house. Ooh. There's so much. Oh, let's tell me about the seance. We hosted a seance and contacted the spirit who's haunting the house. Did you actually see the ghost? Yeah, right. I'm sure it was some kind of trick. Abby sounds suspicious. Yeah, maybe she's hiding something. <gasps> she probably knows more about the house than she's admitting. Ooh, they think Abby is suspicious. It, well, everybody's sus, but they are putting blame on Abby. Huh. Oh, I found a hidden passageway in the library. Really? Now you can spy on people. Yeah, and see who's reading what. Ooh. Or get a good look at the resident ghost. Ooh, we can, oh, we can spy on people. All right, let's going. just go. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye. We can talk to Emily. What is this? 800 588823 Oh, it didn't work. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. 867530 Sorry, all cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial. Eh. This is a recording. Who's this Emily lady? Who's Emily? This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's this Nancy is Emily. Drew. Nancy Drew. Nancy. I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's, in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping out with renovations. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. Dragons! Dragons of San Francisco sounds exotic. What kind of exotic. dragons are you researching? Chinese dragons. My editor thought this would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. So it seems. My room is full of Chinese decorations. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the nuthatch room. Nut hatch room. All I right, just wanted right. to give you a call and let you know I'm in town. I'll talk to you later. Wait, don't go yet. How are you doing? Anything Emily Foxworth can help you out with? One second, guys. I'm messaging my sister. Hold on. Or messaging her. Wait, messaging her back. Um. Okay. 
Um, anything Emily can help you with? Uh... Maybe we ask her about the bandit's what do you know treasure? About the bandit's treasure. Bandit's oh, treasure. Lizzie Applegate. Oh, you mean the play? The rep did a season where they performed old local plays, including the bandit's treasure. I've never seen it, but I hear the music is fantastic. Music is fantastic. Maybe Lizzie? Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure. She was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Do you know where Yerba Buena Town is? That's what San Francisco was called back during the Spanish colonial period, but no one calls it that anymore. What? San Francisco. San Francisco was called Yerba Brank, whatever they said. What the heck? Is that true? I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. 1-800-441-2400. 2400 <gasps> Oh! God. What? What? Mom? That's weird. Dear Hugh, I'm doing great. How are you? Yes, the rumors are true. I bought myself a Victorian mansion. It's queasy. You should mention Abby. She's actually the one who decided to go in on this creative venture picture with me we're still in the process of restoring the place it's a lot of fun but also a lot of hard work um we're beginning to get a little worried that we'll fall behind schedule if we're not careful there have been several accidents lately that have interfered with our work when you visit you can stay in the chinese room we're just we we've just bought some new furniture for the room we're just waiting for the wallpaper today before we move everything in with all of the distractions and the schedule by the time i finish writing this letter i'm sure we will have completed the restorations altogether. i'll try to get it into the mail before okay Ugh. and they sure write so many letters like where's the texting <laughs> dear rose how are you doing i haven't got messages you messages from you and something finally somebody with freaking normal handwriting from you in some time i hope life is treating you well last i heard of you were in the middle of planning some sort of crazy scheme to buy an old victoria mansion oh this was that was her reply this was the, rest, the first letter so what ever became of that? Did you buy it? Now, how can you afford to do something like that? Who did you find as a partner to help lead this plan? I hate, I hate to admit it, but I haven't been up to a whole lot lately. Life around here has been pretty dull. Nothing too great is happening here. Just a bit of the same old, same old. I need to fall into wealth, fame, and fortune, so I'll have more to write about. How's your cat and that friend of yours, Abby? The last time we spoke, she talked a lot about gold and its great spiritual significance. <laughs> um, maybe I'll follow your lead and take on an ambitious project of my own. I should use the money. I could use the money I've been saving to drive out west to visit you. An adventure on the road could be just the key to motivate me. If some of the rumors I've heard of you buying this house are true, I'll definitely have to come and visit. I'll use the excuse of coming to visit to check out your new investment. I'm learning Chinese and also considering taking a trip to Beijing. A friend of mine sent me a poem she wrote in Chinese the other day. Now, I want to go there. Well, enough rambling. I've got to go, but I hope to hear from you soon. Yours truly, Hugh. Is Hugh her boyfriend? Ooh. Should we go ask Rose? 
Rose! You have a boyfriend? Dang it, he's gone. Wait, maybe we can spy on him. Ooh, what if we... What if we spy on him right before... Ooh, I want to spy on him, chat. How do we spy? <gasps> oh! It's 12 p.m. or midnight, I can't tell. What is he doing? Oh, he, he got a book out. Aha, uh -huh. oh. that's it. Oh, he's found it. Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. Where are the ghosts now, chat? Where are the ghosts? Wait, what is that link, Adam? I can't click it. With my nose. That's it. What's it? What's it? What's it? Dude. Where are the ghosts now, chat? Hi, Jonathan. Doing good. How are you? It's your epic curse of squint reading. Oh, God. Oh, no. What was the book that he pulled out? Is it this one? The piano one? No. This can't be it. Was it this one? Am I blind? Is it... Well, I guess he took... Oh! Oh! Briefcase! Briefcase! Guys, we, we, we hacked his... We hacked him. What was his briefcase code, though? I wanted to know what book he got. <laughs> can you DM me the link so I can look it up on my phone, Adam? Because anytime I minimize, it's gonna die. Is it? Did anybody write down the code? Please tell me somebody wrote down the code. Here, y'all get the code ready. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, hold on. Bathroom break, hold on. Okay. All right. Okay. We got the code. We got the code. Uh, four. I'm guessing it has to be in the middle. Four, six, five, three. Oh. Okay. Then the sec second one is. Four, eight, six, eight. Oh, oh, it's a book! Through our own voices. He stole it. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know. An oral history of Chinese immigrants in California. My name is Wing Tang. Oh, it was that guy. That was the guy in the curse of handwriting. When I was just 19, I worked as a grader on the transcontinental railroad and saw the two great railroads meet at the golden spike i came back to san francisco in 1871 and worked as a chef for mrs applegate for many years at the hotel chinois and then at the golden gardenia which we call gumbo Fu. i remember the great earthquake and how it shook the tall buildings like stalks of rice the great fire destroyed so many buildings and people oh geez they had an earthquake and a great fire Jeez. But it makes sense, because it's California. Earthquakes and fires, man. Oh my 
my god, I see it. Zang sent it to me. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Wait, I made that face? Oh my god! Oh, it's like the Winnie the Pooh meme. Are these Nancy Drew games available on Steam? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing this one from Steam. Last time I checked, they were. Yeah, all of them are still up. Yes. They're all on... I think they're all on Steam. What is this? Argentine appraisers. Dear sir, I represent a client who would like to sell their collection of post-Civil War gold bullion. My client wishes to remain anonymous during all business transactions. I am having difficulty determining the nature of their collection. From what I gather, my client possesses approximately $50,000 in uncirculated bake standard gold coins dated between 1870 and 1880. These would have been issued by one of the five major banks that were located in California at that time. Please contact me at your convenience. I'm available during the mornings. Why does he have this? Oh, respectfully yours, Louis. Oh, it's from Louis. Fifty thousand. A client who would like to sell. Well, interesting. Okay. He knows somebody that has 50,000 coins. Victorian antiques. Ooh, it's circled. Hidden treasure in our homes. Ooh, hidden treasure. Mr. Oroman is expert in the colonial history of California. He will give a seminar on treasure hunting techniques at an upcoming Fortune Hunter Expo in San Jose. That sounds fun. I have consulted and worked on the restoration of hundreds of California homesteads, ranches, Haciendas and mansions dating as far back as 18th century and have always found some sort of hidden treasure. Some are quite ordinary. A stash of old tiles, a secret compartment filled my keepsakes, uh, filled with keepsakes, but others have proved to be quite extraordinary. My recent work at Los Arbolas Ranch in Santa Frida uncovered $20,000 in gold bullion that had been hidden away during the Spanish-American War. Over the many years of my research and findings, I have developed a systematic approach to determine which habitants, habitation, ha, ha, habitations are prime candidates for hiding secret treasure. Ugh. This dude is like serious, man. Wait, wait, wait. How does he already have somebody that has 50,000 Civil War gold bullion? 1870, 1880. So sucks. Is that when the El Diablo people existed or no? Rick Arlen, back with a vengeance. Soap star heartthrob Rick Arlen has renewed his contract with Worldwide Broadcasting but admits he had misgivings about another season with Light of Our Love. It was a very difficult time of my life, the actor admits. There were a lot of things going down and I didn't know if it was time to move on. Rumors have persisted that Arlen had been a victim of a stalker and that a teen detective named Nancy Drew was on the case. However, neither... Ri no, wait, this is the game before. Wait, I think they're talking about the game before. I think this was... What, what was it? Secrets can kill, I think. It doesn't say any spoilers. It's just I had... Just I had a... Stalker. Wait, was that it? Oh, okay, I guess that's it. Oh, oh, did y'all write this one down? I think it's the four. Auto mod doesn't let you say El Diablo. Don't worry. There's a reason why Diablo is not a word I allow in the chat. <laughs> don't let me make... Don't let me extend why that's a thing. Please. Um, okay, let's... Uh, I think that's it. Just sell, just say Valdez instead of El Diablo. Just say devil instead, because Diablo means devil. Uh. <laughs> I, I still don't know where this eye is. This it's one's missing, missing an, an eye. eye. Here. It's missing an eye. Oh no, I don't know what to do with this piece of paper. So weird. Okay, who else can I talk to? Uh, maybe Rose? Oh, god, that scared me. I don't know what time it is. I don't know, like... 
What is this? Hold on. There's something I didn't click. What is this? Oh. Oh, we're, we're lowering the chandelier. Okay, well, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happens if I do, though? Should I do it? Should I do it? Hello. <laughs> Whoops. You did what? Um, I unhooked the chandelier and it crashed to the floor. I I'm can't in trouble! Believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. Oh! I don't know what got into me. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. I didn't save. Oh, second chance. <sighs> Wait, I should save! <laughs> Don't touch chandelier. L -l -l whatever. Okay. Chandelier. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not gonna touch that. Okay. All right. All right. Ah! Rose. Or uh, Abby, there's a ghost. Hi, Nancy. There's a ghost. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. See you later. Why can't I tell her about this stuff? Creepy. 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 All right, she's seeing things, chat. What time is it? It's two. Oh, it's it's p.m. Wait, we've stayed up all night long. No wonder Nancy is seeing things. Can I look? Oh, I can look at her it's suitcase. Locked. It's locked. Oh, Nancy Drew. Bandit treasure. I guess she already gumbo foo. Oh, they want me to call Emily. Gumbo foo. Is there anything else I need to know? 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 Million insurance policy. Hoax or question mark. Too young, inexperienced work history student. Particular hotel list on laptop book from library. Yeah, he, Lewis is the most sus. Lewis is the most sus. Nice polo, Nancy Drew. Let's go talk to Rose. I would, I want to see like a rated R like Nancy where they show like, like heads in dumb waiters, you know, or like, ooh. Like, somebody really wants to scare her to make her think that it's really haunted, you know? Met Nancy Drew, message in a haunted mansion, 2022. Rated R. Not for everyone. But it would be like, what is that one game that I played? It was really spooky, but it was kind of like, it was like 3D and you can walk around. I can't remember. Adam told me you had the chandelier fall. I did. <laughs> I live in. <laughs> I think that was why I stopped playing this one. Wait, why? Because you broke the chandelier? Hello. But you can just click second chance. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Do you know Sounds what like gumbo. gumbo foo means? No. Gumbo. Not that I can remember. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Gumbo foo. Alright, they wanted me to call Emily, so let me call Emily. I love that sound. I was like, someone's gonna kill me! <laughs> oh! The phone's ringing! Uh... <laughs> 
Adam. Uh, the call came from inside the house. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what was I doing? That really threw me off. Oh, Emily, Emily. That was creepy. No, Hula, I'm sorry. If this makes you feel better, it's a rated G game. It won't Emily show anything speaking. scary. Hello. Sort of. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Gumbo foo. Gumbo. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. Did somebody just walk in? Did y'all hear that? Did somebody just walk in? I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Talk to you later. Okay. Was it was it this guy? Huh, he's not here. The suit oh, maybe he went to pick up his suitcase? What time is it? Where is he? It's three o'clock. I don't know. I don't know his uh, his schedule. Do y'all remember? Me too, Tim's. <laughs> I I've been hearing things for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, we both have been seeing things. I think the creepiest one though is this one. It doesn't it doesn't say it again though? But did y'all remember? It just it goes like. So creepy. Ooh. Chilling, man. Okay, well, she's still here. Where's Lewis? Noon to 5 p.m. Bruh! It's 3... It's 3.30! Where he... Where he be at? Where... What? Where he be, yo? Th bathroom break? Why isn't he here? Oh, oh my God! It's yeah. He scared me. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. <laughs> he wasn't there before. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. E. Valdez. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. Likely story. The ghost is worried you found their private floppy disk. Uh, you set off my Google device? Oh no, I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm, interesting. No same. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kylie, did you do the spinning things on the stairs? What's that? What's the spinny thing? Look at him smiling menacingly. Yeah. Had you ever heard of the Great Christmas Gold Robbery? Of course, although it never actually occurred. Fictional history, a folk legend, a complete myth. But nonetheless, it's still a fascinating story, even though it isn't true. You know, they do a really good job sinking the lips than some games do. You know? Weird. Oh, here, let's ask him. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I came across it in a book. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase. I thought someone had been in there. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose about this. Nancy, I'm ashamed of you. Everyone in this house expects some degree of privacy, and you have obviously violated that trust. Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. I've arranged for Abby to drop you off at the airport. I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Not gonna ask him about gongbo foo. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Okay, won't ask him that question. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? 
Yes, I certainly do. <laughs> wow. She was a very popular actress in the late My 1800s. bad. She was My... very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies Protection Jeez. Society. Butthole. I should have said I found it in a magazine. Uh, he got so like how how is he supposed to know? Like I could have found it in another book or something. Did Lizzie ever wear men's clothing? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had Wait, to Todd, dress if you're going to delete the message, let them know she why. She was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable. So they're not like, time. what the heck? Um Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. Okay, he he's likes just Charlie. What Rose and I need. Okay. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Okay. I won't keep you any longer. Good day. All right. Uh, Pot, I think it was okay because it was, it had stars, but okay. Try the magazine excuse. No, then I have to talk to him again. All right, well, I ain't gonna ask him about gumbo foo or whatever. Gumbo foo. All right, well, let's go to Charlie, I guess, and ask him. Sometimes the clock sounds like it's distorted a little bit. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. Oh, I like, I like that gumbo foo. So long. Gumbo foo. Gumbo foo. Fun thing. Alright, wait. So what about the what about the um Oh do say magazine? Okay, I'll say ma I'm gonna save before. I'll save before doing it. Let me get closer to him. Does he still stay here after like I wonder? Alright, let's save. Gumbo foo. So they were allowed to watch the seance scene in this game? Wait, they weren't allowed and had to leave the room? Wait, how do they continue the game then? And how do they know about the seance scene? Save hacking like we're junior detectives. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> um. Do you know? Oh God, what I'm nervous. Foo means. Where did you hear that? In a magazine. I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses Gumbo Fu. The house of great books. Uh, he told us! Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. I won't keep you any longer. Nice to see you again. Crushing these conversations. He has no clue we're on to him. All right, just constantly, I'm, I'm being taught to lie, chat. <laughs> we're liars. Ah! Nancy Drew is turning me into a liar. Oh, okay. Okay, if he's busy, hold on one second, chat. Uh, since Todd is busy and he deleted your message, Squishy, basically we just keep this family friendly. And I guess he, my, my mod was like, um, that's not family friendly. So if you're wondering why, don't worry about it. He's just being protective and that's okay. Um, <clears throat> but you start it. So it should have been fine, but whatever. Um, okay. Let's go talk to, 
We talked to Rose. We talked to... Oh, Abby. 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 We have to talk to Abby. And then what, what was the thing with the stairs? Turning around in the stairs? Or something? I had to turn around in circles in the stairs. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Um, Abby, Abby, Abby. Crap, is she gone? It's four. Uh, let's make it, let's, uh, what time do I, I can't remember her schedule. She can lie about snooping in this guy's briefcase, but can't lie when a chandelier plummets to the ground. Yeah, right? I don't know what happened, and there was nobody there to see, so like, what the heck? Dumb. Uh, let's make it be like 6, 7 p.m. I'm sure she'll talk to us later. I don't, I don't know what to do with the sheet paper. There's something, but I don't know what to do with it. Ooh, it's this. Emily Foxtrot from Nick to Nancy Drew. Is this new? I'm sorry I could not drop this off myself, but I'm out the door for a month-long photo shoot in Mexico. I... Oh! I spoke with my friend about gumbo food, and she said that it means gold... Oh! Gold Treasure Mansion. She wrote the Chinese symbols below. He lied to us, chat! He's a liar! Oh! Where... Ooh! He's super sus now. Oh. He's the killer. I'm just kidding. There's no murder. <laughs> what? He's a liar. Also, is it... Oh, wait. Maybe this? No, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this thing. It looks like, like a music box thing. I don't... I don't know. He's a liar. A big, fat liar. I don't even know if I needed to ask her anymore. Hi, Nancy. Do you know what Let's gumbo see if she lies. foo means? Gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What oh, kind of gumbo said. is gumbo foo? Gumbo. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Doesn't know. Fox phobus goom. What? What? What did you call me? Liar, liar, pants on fire. I am going to confront him. Sir, you are a big, you know, honestly, we probably shouldn't let him know that we're on to him. He's gone. Oh, what's this? Wait, what did I just do? We're in. Oh, 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 it's the... Oh, I thought I returned this. Why does it keep showing me that? Huh. I'm on to you, Lewis. I'm on to you, Lewis. I'm watching you all. I want gumbo too. That sounds really good. Really good. Um, what do we do now, chat? Do y'all have any ideas? Anime girl, what did you want me to do on the stairs? Didn't you find a sheet in the attic to play on the piano? Yeah, we already played it though. Here, we can go back in it's there not. to see. Maybe there's something else that we missed up here. I don't know. Maybe like you can like put this because it has like little holes and it makes me think like you can like put it over something. It's locked. I don't know. See, we already we already did this, but maybe. No, can't put it on the notes to play another tune. Looks 
like a punch card. I couldn't really get a good like look at it, unfortunately. This is a disappointment. God, the handwriting. Like one of those old automatic piano music playing thingies. Uh, yes. I don't think there's anything else in the attic I can get. That baby thing is so creepy. <laughs> um, oh, newspapers. Wait, I didn't look at this before. Valuable hints, Golden Gate Gazette. <laughs> this thing, this looks, it reminds me of the emoji with the two eyes and the mouth. Is there anything I can click on? I don't know what else. There, um, there's rotating blocks. Where? Wait, rotating blocks? Where? Where? Rotating blocks, where? On the stairs? But the sheet in the attic isn't the same play as the one you have. I I can't I can't see what I have, to be honest. Uh it has holes. Yeah, I couldn't do anything with it though. I couldn't put it like on top of the sheet music or anything. Um where are these rotating blocks? Where, where, why am I not seeing this? Adam says maybe it will show words. Maybe it would cover a document. Yeah, I don't know what to put it over though. You guys know? I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. I just know that the freaking guy is a liar. Is there anything in here that I need to get? The banister at the top of the stairs? The banister at the top of the stairs? Oh! How did I miss this? Ooh, okay, so the options are F, D, C, F, 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 D, C. Maybe Diablo. Is there an A? Oh, it's not. Okay. Um. What was the girl's name again? Something Apple Bottom. Y'all have a good eye. I didn't see this at all. Uh. I don't know, it's a five letter word. Uh, do we all? <laughs> Gumbo foo? Um. Maybe Val Valdez? No, it's too long. Uh, too long. Um, what is the girl's name, chat? What was that girl's name? I'm assuming it's her name. It's locked. What was her name though? This girl. Or is it Yerba Buena? Yerba? Maybe Yerba? No, that can't be it. I'm already forgetting the darn girl's name. What if you put the paper with punch holes over the song lyrics? It's locked. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ah, song lyrics. <gasps> That's it. 
My love here is the key you'll need. That's what you meant. We just couldn't put it at the top. We had to put it at the bottom. Y'all are so smart! Okay, what is this? Find... The... 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 Die... Go. Find... Die... Go on... Stairs. Diego? Oh! Diego! Diego! That's it! Die Diego! Diego. It's Diego! Oh my god, we figured it out. We figured it out. We figured it out. We figured it out. It's Diego. It's Diego. It's Diego. Why is it Diego? But it, it's Diego. Heck. Why Diego? Alright. E. I. Mother Lickers. Oh god, it's one of these. E. G. No! You butthole! I hate this. These are the kind of puzzles that, like, y'all can't help me. There we go, we got it, 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 we got it. Diego! Coins! False? Floor. Coins? False floor? Did I read that right? Ooh, look at that. Ooh! Diego, I've waited so long for your return, but have kept our treasure true here is the tool you'll need to find it may you may your uh may your rainbow never run out run out of luck may your what is that word chat rainbow learn never run out of luck oh rainbow i guess that makes it rainbows e the stars and moon will shine on you and you begin your quest. Move like a knight upon her horde, horse, her horse, to quickly pass the test, to quickly pass the test. Take care to keep your path in check along the bit something border oh you may see the sun return to claim its rightful order oh my god oh outside which one is out oh outside along the outside border okay am i supposed to memorize this because i don't know hi scary the stars and moon will shine on you, and you begin your quest. Quest. Uh, make move like a knight upon her horse to quickly pass the test. Take care to keep your path in check along the outside border. You may see the sun return to claim its rightful order. Okay, the freaking right sick. Talking in riddles here, people. That doesn't make any sense to me. But okay. I got this thing. So I like I need it to to something. Let's go talk to Rose. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. Oh, I already I saw it. it. They're leaving me alone? I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Okay. I'm gonna be alone in the house chat. Hi, Miss Blair. How are you? X 
extra snooping. Is there anything new? I don't think so. Oh, anything in here? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. This wasn't in here before. Daze smoke machine? Oh, this is the seance. <gasps> A cassette. It was fake. Oh, but what about all the other stuff? I was kind of hoping it wasn't fake. <laughs> Whoa! Does that mean Char or Charlie was in on it too because of the window? Or the mirror? Bruh. Now she's sus! I think her and Lewis are doing something together. They're like, ooh, babe. Let's scare people. So that they won't take our stuff. Crap, she's sleeping. Crap, I need to go back in her room. I think she's gone between like three or something. So, I mean, if she's gonna be gone, like let's set our alarm for like 9 p.m. or something. Or 9 a.m., excuse me. Majorly sus. The only non-sus person is, I feel, is Rose. Wait, no! <gasps> I take it back, because Rose also did the insurance claim. What is this? I'm scared. Ah! Oh no! For what? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Is that you? Hi, Nancy. Was this letter yours? Oh. Ooh, are we gonna call her out? Are we gonna call her out? Let's call her out. Let's call her out. Let's call her out. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. Well, she admitted it. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Hmm. Me too, Samantha. I remember me and my friend got so scared. <laughs> um. Hmm. I miss games like this scaring me. Like, it's so, like... It's literally just a point and click game. Like, I don't know. Have you been creating these accidents to help your promotion? Of course not. I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and money. Likely story. If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. Are you the ghost who is haunting this place? There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Mm. Ta-ta for now. I mean, granted, this is like the only, like, computer, like, any game. The only other game I played was Mario when I was this young. So, like, <laughs> it's a, it's a step up. <laughs> okay, I think she's gone at, like, three or four or something so i'm gonna i want to set it to three and see if she'll be gone it's called microsoft excel and give me nightmares Ugh, i had a i had a alarm that sounded like that when i was younger freaking hated it yeah let's let's break in b and e y'all Is there anything else that's new? Um... This is the window. It could have been her doing that. 
I could see it. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, darn it. Can I not put, put this in here? What is this? Okay, this was all of her. Oh my god! There's a crying lady! All stage. There's the guy on the toilet. I've never heard that one. I see you. This is what we heard! This is what we heard with the creepy... Oh, this is what we heard with the creepy, creepy po portrait. Oh my god, wait. Oh god, wait. Is she the one who left us the note then? If she, like, prank called us? Why does four not do anything? All of it was a setup! Oh, it's a baby crying. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? Yeah, all of it. All of it staged. All of it staged. Though that is pretty good. Like, props to her, man. Like, I believed it. I believed it. Well done, well done. But I'm disappointed. Not, not haunted at all. I should return Message in a mansion so Abby doesn't suspect anything. Oh right, true. <laughs> true that. True that. Is there anything else in here? No, I don't think so. Whoa! I want a refund. Is the message in the mansion just this message? The threat? <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, why don't I tell Rose? Rose, someone's trying to threaten me to leave. Hello. Rose. I can see. I'm you're not busy. gonna tell I'm anyone. Go. Thanks for your help. I just literally got a threat, and I'm not gonna say anything. Oh my god, Nancy, be bold. I would have left by now. I'd be like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> um. Any ideas, chat? We pretty. Oh my god! Fire! 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 Crap! I forgot. <laughs> what do we do? What Fire. do I do? It's too late. Ah! It's too late. Talk to everybody in the house, 
And none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Well, I didn't do it. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. <laughs> that scared me. I don't know why that stressed me out. <laughs> I was like, fire, what do you do? I, I it wouldn't even let me go back. <laughs> I, I guess you just had to already have it. Uh, you're welcome, madam. You're welcome. Yeah, Nancy Drew, professional construction worker, snoop, and firefighter. Exactly. Ah. Uh. Wait, so Lewis wants somebody to buy the house? What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No. I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. I heard her fire talk, man. Maybe... Maybe it was her that started the fire because she wants that million dollars. Ooh. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. Or will you get money? I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Highly suspect. Hmm. So try. But the thing is, the the fire. Even if it had a fire screen or whatever, it wasn't. The fireplace wasn't even on. So that don't make any hey, Nancy. sense. Hey, there's been right? another accident. You gotta believe me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So I returned it. Oh. And that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. What makes you say that? I'd better not say anymore. Sorry. Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. Ooh, I'll Abby? Let you get back to your renovation. See ya. Ab but Abby wouldn't do that. She wanted to frame those, didn't she? Wait, she actually did it. Did what? Kylie is behind it all. Why would I be behind it all? That's a guilty person would want you to think. <laughs> I'm so lost. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I haven't played this game since 2000. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Uh, Let's talk to Lewis, I guess. You think Charlie did it? I don't know, ah, maybe. Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Uh, that was a little a shame to have lost those papers. Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. I can't remember what was in the papers. Does anybody remember what was in that box? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? No, I don't. 
Ah, uh, now I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you, Nancy. What is the crime again? There was just a little fire that started. And there's just been like some little accidents that just constantly happen. I can't remember what this was about though. I can't remember it all. Hi, King Frodo. I can't stop staring at his mouth when he talks. <laughs> See, I don't even think it was used. So that's weird. Um, uh, let's go talk to Abby. burn wait did abby do it wait where are they were they in my room oh wait what's this whoa 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 since when can i hit this oh my god I didn't know this was here. Oh, this is the this is the zo zodiac puzzle. The rat comes first, then the ox. I can't remember. Well, it's the order chat. Oh my god, I didn't even know I could click on this. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Um, I believe... Where was it? Is that... That's this letter. Where was the... I can't remember where it was. I'm trying to remember Fruits Baskets. Fruits Baskets also had the cat, though. The rat rode on the ox. I cannot remember for the life of me. I know dog is after the horse. But I, I can't remember. Rat, ox... Tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, a horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, pig. Oh. I don't know why that scared me. Um... Huh. Well, we know this is four. This was Great King. This was... I can't remember. I can't remember. I, I think. Uh... Anybody have any idea if we already know something? Seven, eight, nine, 
seven position is three or whatever was on that teacup. Oh, was it seven? Uh, starting one is child. How do you know this? Time to explore the house once more and write things down. I got everybody to write things down. They wrote, they wrote, they wrote it down. I just don't know what it's supposed to say. Please tell me I don't have to do this again. Are you kidding me? one is try oh you mean like the one that was on the thing oh i don't think we know the order yet i don't think we do <laughs> can you can you not i'm so pissed at you But she's not even in here. How did she do that? Wait, how did she do that if she wasn't even in here? Wait, who was that? Wait, and that wasn't even one of the options, was it? Can read off what they were uh okay oh wait, wait wait we still don't know the order though so maybe we wait until we know the order unless was there anything in like the password of passwords in what jahoozy's laptop remember was there anything like any code to like a safe or something chat well, that was so creepy. Who who laughed? Imagine watching a ghost walk or you're standing in front of the door as you watch the camera. Yeah, that would be so spooky. And it didn't say anything for a safe. Okay. I don't know. Um... Should we go back and under here, maybe? How did I get that one? This freaked me out last time. See, this means great king. We already knew that. Freaking, he's been sleeping here. Oh yeah, it is 1875, 1880. Huh. Oh, what's that? Wait, 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 what's that on the stairs? I can't click it. Can't click it. Hmm. Gumbo foo. Hi, easy! Gumbo foo meant like great treasure or whatever, right? Great treasure thing. Um, hmm. Hmm. We still haven't been able to talk to Abby about. So I haven't been able to talk to Abby. So maybe we go to sleep and wake up in the morning? <laughs> Hi, 
how do you like him, Dale? Did Emily write Chinese letter? Oh! Morning, Nancy. You're right. Oh, oop. Okay, took the wrong thing. She did. None of those was an option, I'm pretty sure. I don't think any of those were an option. Uh, I could be wrong. Don't have the best memory. Tony Art, thank you so much for the resub! Thank you! What's the what's the order again? Rat ox. Something must give you the order, I know. I'm trying to rack my brain. We also got this thing, and I don't know what you do with it. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog. It's oddly specific. I know, Neil. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's the. We still don't know the order. We know that this means four. Great king. Child. Can't remember this one. Um, what is this one? Three? They all like represent. <gasps> Wait! I think I know. And Zombie Ark! Rah! Thank you so much for 500 subs! That's so sweet of you! Thank you! Mwah. Thank you for that. It's so kind of you. Guys, I think I know it. 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 This! This thing! Listen, my child to the story. Uh, beginning? Child beginning. Uh, ten daughters. I don't know if it's daughters. Four sided. I. Uh, some of these I don't know. Moon? Moon? Maybe king? River? Fly a gate of golden wonders. Uh, some of them I don't know, though. I told you all to write this down. How could y'all forget? Okay, so child is first. And then beginning. I need help though. Who knows kanji? I think I can give you the order then. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, so let's remember. Write this down, chat. Child, beginning, maybe difficult? I'm guessing difficult. Fire was one of the kanjis too? Okay, so child, beginning, difficult. I don't know if it's 10 or daughters, so maybe 10 or daughters. Four. Okay, so child beginning difficult. Ten daughters. Just write that down. Ten daughters. Four. I. Fire. Okay, fire, fire. Moon. I remember moon. Moon. King. River. Oh, that one's river. Okay, river. And then... Uh... Will lie a gate to golden wonders? I don't, I don't know. I don't know this one. Golden? Okay, golden? Okay, so child beginning, difficult, ten daughters, four, I, bird, moon, king, river, golden. I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. Crap, I need the order one more time. I can't scroll up in my chat. <clears throat> Good night, Bailey. Okay, rat, ox, tiger, uh, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog thing. Okay, all right, here we go. So let's go through all of these. This one is child. What is this one?
Oh, gold? 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 River. From the top going clockwise. Okay, it's child, gold, three, woman, moon, fire, sun. I think this means beginning. Beginning, king, four. Okay, hold on. I think this one means river. I think this one's, yeah, river and then woman? Um, okay, can you paste the list one more time, Jai? Maybe we can figure it out. Woman, daughter. Oh, woman, daughter, yes! Okay, this is a daughter one then. Okay. Okay, so child is first, so child. Beginning. A uh, daughter was this one, right? And then four. And then I. Uh. I'll pull three. A river, woman, moon, fire. Wait, what's I? One of these is I. I think this one? Sun is I? Okay, this one. I. Alright, fire. What was the. I want the. Um, okay, woman. Moon, fire. Okay, so fire. Fire. Moon. King. River. Golden Gate. Wait, crap. Wait, wait, which one's the gold? Oh, this one, this one. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? No, what did I do wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There should be ten. We did it right. What? Oh, am I wrong? But that that this all adds up though, right? This this adds up. What did I do wrong? Child. Beginning. We didn't do this line. Maybe this isn't a line. Because maybe it's just like dreams, it seems like it has to, like, you know. Child, beginning, daughter, four, I, fire, moon, king, river, gold, or gate. Maybe check her notes? We can. It's locked. Oh. Faked. Treasure poem. There's no more notes. Nancy, your notes suck. I'm so mad. Why didn't it work? Let's do it one more time. Thanks, Adam. Um, I think by now I'd memorize it. Um, okay, so child. I need y'all to post it again. <laughs> Sorry. I I think I I think I know. Are we getting? Moon and I confused? Is this moon and this is I? Or is this moon and this is I? I think this is moon and this is I, correct? Japanese. I think it's Chinese, but Japanese still use kanji too, but it's different. 
Okay, so child. Okay, and beginning is this. I hope. Beginning. Daughter is this one. Or mo mo woman or something. Okay, and then four. Then I. I. Fire. Fire? Fire? Okay. Moon. King. River. I'm going crazy. <sighs> Hit the arrow? Wait, there's an arrow? Oh, oh crap. Don't need it anymore. Child, okay, child, beginning, daughter, daughter, or <laughs> who would have thought? Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. I, fire. Moon King Moment of truth chat moment of truth Beloved smile. Until then, please accept this 
bouquet of gardenia, your favorite El Diablo. So Lizzie and Lizzie McGuire and the devil were in the cahoots with each other. Cahoots, I say. Was another one. My dearest Elizabeth, only one soul on this great earth knows the two secrets that circle my heart. My love for you and my secret identity. Know that my intentions are the purest in all as respects. I am a mod modest man and all of the wealth that I have acquired by devious means are put to the uh, test uses, best uses, best uses, all given to the poor, the misfortunate, and the defenseless. And so I am a poor, misfortunate, and defenseless uh, man in the presence of your beauty. You have stolen my heart, dear Elizabeth, and all I ask is your hand in marriage to be mine. <gasps> he asked her to be married! Wow, our wedding day! Elizabeth Applegate and Diego. Oh, so his name was Diego. Valdez! It is Valdez. So Diego, that's why it's Diego. Got it. They got married. <gasps> Marriage. Last will and testament. I, Elizabeth Valdez, do hereby make this my last will and testament to my dear friend Nellie Beecham, my black onyx necklace and earrings, and the sum of $5,000 to my employee Wing Tang, the sum of $15,000 to my cherished secretary, Maple Craddy, the sum of 10,000. Where'd she get all this money? To my beloved husband, Diego, the entirety of my estate, my house and its contents, with the exception of the bequests above. In the event that my husband, Diego, is not located after a period of one year after my death or is found to be deceased, the entirety of my estate, with the ex exception of the bequests above, are to be liquidated and all proceeds of said transaction are to be provided to the Ladies Protection Relief Society. That's a lot of money! She be ballin', chat! Apple bottom jeans shirt got a lot of fur. Alright, uh... What is this? Oh no. Don't you dare do this to me. Oh my god, do I have to turn them all to the suns? Oh no, I hate these puzzles! I hate these puzzles! No, how dare you? <laughs> Why? This is so evil. I hate these puzzles so much. Oh, 15k in 1902? I know, right? Freaking gazillionaire. Well, I'll eventually get it, chat. You just gotta give me a, a hot minute. For a hot second. Another one? <laughs> Ooh, this is the... I think this is the bird downstairs. Another puzzle I hate. These I hate the most. I guess I need to get its tail, tail feathers up. Oh. How many puzzles? The Nancy Drew game. What do you expect? I can't even remember what the bird looked like. crap um I'm like I'm making my way to get all the pieces that need to be up up 
there's a way to, there's always a trick to doing these puzzles. Yeah, Hula, me too. Living your best life. No, I'm not. This is the worst part of my life right now, Adam. Oh, oh, fits. But what is this over here? This one? I think this one. And then maybe this goes down here. in reverse. Ah! So this is it. This needs to swap places. <sighs> Dang. I saw the main puzzle playing in Uncharted today that way. Just randomly messing around till I got the answer. Honestly, sometimes that's... <laughs> That's what you just gotta do, man. Ooh, this connects. Oh wait, all three of these connect. This needs to go down here. Ah! Why are you up here? Exactly. A modern art. <laughs> Abstract. <laughs> Good evening, Mystical. Uh, this is not in the right place. Mm. Um, I think the bird needs to scoop down a smidgen. I realize it's 10 o'clock, but I feel like we're so close. So I don't want to end yet. Because I'm going to be disappointed. Because <laughs> I was hoping to beat this game tonight. I think we'll be okay. Oh! Aha! the side here. Getting closer, chat. It's just a little, a little wonky. Getting closer. Getting closer. I 
need to like reorganize the order. <laughs> ah! you do anything you set your mind to my mind is set way too set um this is right though it's just this needs to go i think here and then these these are like all in the right places i think i forgot how this goes oh this one's attached to that Swap these. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm one piece away. How are you doing, Rambo? Sorry, we've been on this freaking puzzle forever. Hello, thank you for the rain. How was your stream? How was your stream? What'd you stream today? Oh my god, we're so close. How do I... What's the best way to get this one down? Maybe we just... We have to like... 
swap it with something. have them all in the corner, but they're just wrong order. Oh my god! Why is it so hard? Okay. <gasps> we did it! Woo! Yeah, good job. Holy cow. All right, what did we get? What is this? Ooh, a diamond in the rough. Um, I think this is the eyeball to that thing, isn't it? I think so. That's a nice gem there. <gasps> oh! See, how, how does she do that? How does she make, how? So spooky. How does she do like the shadows? A ruby eye. Alright. Next puzzle! What is this gonna do? Wait, we have to put it in the eye. Ah. Oh, whoa! What's going on? Oh! Rainbows! What? What happened? It's stuck. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Oh my god, it was Lewis! Oh, it, it was there Lewis! There must be over a million dollars in here. Ah! He's stealing the money! Away. Uh, open my thing! I'm gonna hit him with a crowbar! No! He's leaving! So long, losers. Who says that? So long, losers. No, I died. Why is he running so slow? Away? There was nothing I could do. I wanted to I'm hit him sure with a crowbar. Thing you could have done to stop him. Ah! Oh, it's the you chandelier! Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I guess this Hold, okay. Solved. Unfortunately, the bad guy got away. <laughs> this time. Oh come on! Got to stop chandelier gets away. Okay, chandelier. Chandelier. No! No! <laughs> so long, losers. Ah! <laughs> Look at this slow motion. And you just let him get away? Shut up, George! Do. I'm sure there was something you could have done I, to stop him. I was heading up well, the stairs! Had to act fast and didn't oh wait, have maybe time. we have to go the other side because it creaks. Solved. We can't let him know. That's it. Away. It creaks. We this can't go time. up the other side of the stairs. That's it. That's stop it. Him before he gets away. That's it, that's it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Hurry up, hurry up! What, hey? What the, hey? Hey, hey, get me out of here. <laughs> Dear Sucker! I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. So Louis cheesy. was behind all of the accidents, <laughs> hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house. So he could find the treasure himself. Guess what? We Although found Rose and Abby it. may not have a legal right to the gold. The bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. Oh. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories. Wow. And the place is booked solid for the oh, first month of its nice. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days. Even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. <laughs> See you soon. Nancy. Yay! We did it! Woo! That was fun. Wow. We, <laughs> we did it. We did do it! Yay! Good job, Chad! Foggy! Blanky! Tingle booty, tingle booty, jiggling everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Roll. Thanks, guys. Did y'all have fun? Did y'all like it? Thank you, we will. Well, Usually at the end of um, Nancy Drew, they always have a preview for the next one. So 
so should we watch the next one? This was fun. This is one of the earlier, shorter ones. FYI. This would have taken me, like, a good solid three days to do with my friend. Look at that. We finished it in four hours? Something like that? Coming soon on Disney DVD. <laughs> oh, we did meet the sub goal. Yay, we did. I didn't even see that. Who is the voice actress of Nancy Drew? I want to look her up. But then I feel like I could only just see Nancy Drew in her. Thank you, Maiden. We're senior detective geniuses. We are. I can't even remember what senior detective does. Oh. Oh, I guess never mind. Why didn't it show the... Oh, it didn't show the... It didn't show the thing. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I guess it didn't show the previews. Why didn't it show the preview? You missed it! I didn't mean to click. There's no preview because Nancy murdered a man. <laughs> she's sent to jail now. <laughs> uh, she's 71 years old. Really? Darn it. Okay. Darn it, I want to watch the preview. Just talk to me while we wait. Sorry. <laughs> Where are these people at? We need these people to be like, yo, we need to continue Nancy Drew. They're probably all retired by now. I played this when I was 10. It's been 20 years. Or wait, 21 years. Math. It's been 21 years since this game's been out. People retire after 20 years, right? It's just... Emma Robert. I I have. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. I grew up playing the game, so like anything oh oh uh different from the games I wouldn't like it at all. Lanny Manella. Lanny Manella. I would never I actually never looked at this. Even though we had to, because we had to see like the preview at the end. The the made billions of this game retired early. I don't know about billions, but <laughs> 71. Jeez. They released one like two to three years ago. Was the last one. I know, and it sucked. <laughs> My grammar tonight is rough. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Debugs. Jo Joey debugs Wilkes. It was developed using Microsoft DirectX and C++. For girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. For girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. Yeah. Wait, it just replays? Alright, screw this. Never mind. <laughs> it just replays! I feel so mad! It won't show it. That's dumb. Whatever. The next... What is the next one? Hold on. Order... Order of the Nancy Drew games. We'll watch it on YouTube. Screw it. What was the order, though? What's after Message in a Haunted Mansion? Uh, It doesn't show it here. Why don't you show it, you butthole? Secrets can kill. Stay tuned for... Oh, my favorite one! Treasure in a Royal Tower. Oh, my God! Okay, 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 okay. YouTube. Preview. Of... Uh, treasure in a royal tower, Nancy Drew. Preview. Is this a preview? 
It is. All right, we're watching. Oh my god, it's a square. All right, chat. All right, this is what we are waiting for. <laughs> Should have just done this earlier. Rated E for everyone. It's up to you, is Nancy true? Up to you, is Nancy true? Look at them graphics, guys. High quality right there. Hello, Miss Drew. There have been a couple of incidents. I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around. Crunchy graphics. Juicy graphics. <laughs> Good night, Hi, Rambo. I'm Thank Lisa. you again for the raid. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Spoiler! Spoil the puzzle! This is my favorite lady! I love that lady. She's my favorite lady. Follow ancient clues to discover. <gasps> what <gasps> is it? Mar Marie Antoinette's legendary secrets. I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night, too. <gasps> Why is he sawing? <gasps> That's the. Wait, why would they show that? That's the murderer! There's a rat! Old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. Elle est dangereuse, no? They're spoiling all the puzzles. <laughs> Granted, I think you had to wait like a year or something. You probably forgot this by the time you played it. Dare to play. Eee! Hotchkiss, that's what her name was. There we go. Is this gonna be the next Nancy Drew game that we play, or should we go back a couple of games and play the super old ones? Yay! We did it! On the scale of crunchy to juicy, how good are your graphic settings? Extra crunchy. Woo-wee! Holy guacamole, guys. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? That was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> you name it, we are there. Okay, I'll have to figure it out. Let's see. How long to beat? Let's see how long. Treasure in a royal tower. I, I remember it being a little, a little longer. Well, let me type in answer to your games. Oops. Um... Not that we have to beat it, like, in the evening, but, uh, where is it? There's a lot of Nancy Drew games, as you can see. This one? Oh, they remastered it. When do they do that? This one we could play. Um, where is Stay Tuned for Danger? No, that's Danger by Design. I don't even see Stay Tuned for Danger. Oh. There's another page! <laughs> there it is. Stay tuned for danger is another really good one. We could do both of those. Um, we did this one. Nancy Drew message in a haunted mansion. Oh, we can do this one. It says only three hours. Completion is six hours? What are you completing? Um, so I guess I'll leave it up to you. Do you guys want to do Secrets Can Kill? Like, do we want to, like... <laughs> Maybe I should have just started with that one. Like, we should have just done that one first. And then, like, go in order, basically. Darn it, we should have just done that. 